Hello, welcome back to Fast Fix Friday. And today we're uh, going to sort this key out. Obviously, the buttons have uh, completely disappeared. The key does still work, uh, but you've got to sort of get your fingers right in to get these little micro switches. So, we're going to sort this now uh, because what will happen eventually these micro switches will give up and you'll either have to get a complete new key or have these micro switches sort of desoldered, new ones soldered on and it's obviously more time which means more money uh, it's come with two keys, obviously this one's fine uh, this is the replacement it was five quid off ebay they do do ones that are like two pound forty nine but I think they were, I don't think they were genuine um, I have had trouble with non-genuine keys, sort of the chipboard sometimes doesn't locate properly inside the key. So yeah, that's that. Let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do, take apart the old key. So I've got a little Phillips screwdriver. working on this magnetic tray and then flat blade into the back turn it like that 90 degrees and it'll just pop apart uh, one thing we want is this blade you could get this new one cut if you really wanted um, but because we've already got two keys I'm not really bothered about having a third blade cut so we'll uh, transfer this blade into here Right, so, next thing, circuit board and, and battery, just be gentle, it should just come out with your fingers, there is two locating dowels here and here, which are on this uh, new one, so if we just line them up, pop it in place. And then the most important thing, this black sort of thing here is the chip, the transponder, which is uh, obviously responsible for allowing the vehicle to start. It's got a unique code on it, which obviously the ECU immobiliser needs to be able to see, be able to read, before it will allow the vehicle to start. So we need to carefully lift this out of here. Um, if you're a bit unsure on that, you can just obviously put this new front on your old backing because it is just the buttons that are faulty. So you could clip these two together. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to remove the chip and make it look like a complete new key. Yeah. So don't drop this. Don't lose it. Don't damage it. But that's that, pops out like that. New one, and it obviously sits top left corner there. Just push it in. Another thing I find with the cheaper keys, the actual the slot, the the recess for this chip, they can be baggy, so the chip can sort of wobble around and, and fall about. If you do have to replace the battery on the key, sometimes it can fall out without you even knowing, and that's it, you've you've lost it. But yeah, then this should just clip together, like so. And then I'm hoping, I think we should have a new screw in this bag. There's a couple of little the Citroen uh, emblems. So I'm going to use this new screw in here. Or not. Come on. There we go. Is it is it going in? Not very convincingly. Well 
must be cutting threads as it goes or something right uh, now I'm going to check it works right so that's that it locks it unlocks it and starts it so now it's just these I don't know if these need gluing in or whether they're just a push fit just a push fit are they maybe it needs a touch of glue yeah so maybe a drop of uh, a drop of super glue just gonna put a little dab there a little dab there come on oh god my bit too much perhaps there we go done right thanks for watching this video another fast fix friday we'll see you next week cheers bye like share subscribe the car lovers channel